Out on Mount Sicker, the Mount Sicker property. I'm below the old Lenora Mount Sicker Railway, about 60 meters below, following kind of this uh, hump of rock here. And there's mineralization on the road. We call it the all metal showing. You have semi massive and disseminated pyrite and uh, patches of calcopyrite and schistose rock. So I'm following that down. You can see the oxidation on a lot of this bedrock here. And I'm standing on big hunks of bedrock. Down here, you can see there's a mine dump. And I'm going to make my way down there. Take a look. It's pretty steep. Make my way around the side down towards the dump here. So, looks like the dump pile extends around here. Down there about 20 meters. It's about 20 meters tall. 15 by 20 wide. Schistos rock in the dump. Here's the portal here. You can see the timbering. Right there at the entrance. Some trees growing out of this now. Looks like it's quite collapsed. So there's a big flat piece of bedrock running here. It looks like that's right in the center of where the, the portal is. Likely trying to cut across this mineralized zone. So this is the dump pile over here. At it is below me here with it's striking across the face of this, headed up that way. See the heavily, heavily oxidized rock here. Looks like there's some sulfide veining cutting through, but heavily fractured as well. So over here, you can see this area here where it looks like malachite staining. It looks like there's a bit of sulfides up there that have caused something to drip down, causing your malachite staining on the rock there. So let's follow this back up to the road. So I'm only about 60 meters up from that at it. See the outcrop here and here. Following the direction of strike up here, up top you have the battery ridge showing, which is a VMS showing with svalerite, pyrite, puritite, and calcopyrite. This area here, all this bedrock here contains disseminated sulfides. So we're gonna look at some of the bedrock and pull a sample or two off and see what we got. Walked around the corner about 40 meters, you can see more bedrock right here. A 
more bedrock right here. Take a look at the sulfides here. And some of the bedrock. Bedrock there. Chunks peeking out right there, up there. We got lots of boulders and stuff down here and bedrock peeking out there. So let's hammer a few. So I hammered a piece from that bedrock there. Piece from here, piece from there, there, and there. Typical material, you have schists with heavily disseminated sulfides. Primarily pyrite and you have minor calcopyrite. These are all the samples. Looks like chloratic schist. See the areas where the veining is? There's calcopyrite. Right in there. So this is the typical bedrock in the area. And it appears that this is what they would have been cutting across when they put that added in below the road. Let's go look at some more samples. So below the road you can find boulders like this. This one here, this one here, there, for about 100 meters along this old railway grade. And uh, this boulder specifically here, a sample from this, I say it over 2% copper back in 2020 when we took a grab sample off that boulder. Here's a few samples I just quickly hammered off. The sample here has calcopyrite all along here. Again, here you can see right there calcopyrite right there. So some well mineralized material and a nice zone. Like I said before, 100 meters up that way we have a sphalerite, pyrite, calcopyrite, and pyrotite showing that cross cuts this mineralization up on the upper road.